So the second piece, which is probably something you're aware of, is understanding interests, right? And the distinction between positions and interests. Everybody know what this is? Anybody not know what this is? So positions are basically what people say they want, and interests are why they want them. Sounds simple, right? It's not. In fact, it's really not. Um, it's the challenge. It is the primary challenge to um, effective negotiation and effectively dealing with problems. Because there are endless motivations, fears, needs, and concerns that rest under the surface. And we almost never know all of those, and that's your job. If you really want to do this well, that's what you have to get to. When somebody says, you know, I can't do that, that's a position. Why? What's the problem? That's an interest. So I'll give you a very quick example. Um, a, a friend of mine <clears throat> got a call two years ago from a guy who wanted to buy a, or a, uh, a radio station in the Boston area. And the radio station had three partners. He had bought two of the partners out and he was unable to buy out the other partner. Tried everything. He doubled the amount of money that he gave the other partners. Nothing. So he called me, my friend and he said, can you help me understand what's going on? He said, yeah, tell me about the guy that won't sell. He said, well, he's 55, okay. What else? Oh, well, he's the one that started the radio company. Oh, what does he do now? Oh, he's the general manager of the radio company. Hmm. Well, did you ever think that maybe he likes what he does? You know, that maybe he sees this as his baby? That he developed it? And he said, no, I didn't think of those things. Uh, and he said, well, maybe you should probe and push and, and find out what is really important to him. Like, have you asked him what he wants other than money? No. Okay, we'll try that and see what happens. And it turned out that it was his baby, that he had grown it from nothing to the most successful radio station in Boston. And he was 55 years old. He loved going to work. He loved being the manager of that radio station. And he was not ready to go anywhere. Can you see a solution? Of course you can, right? And the solution is when you understand people's interests that he didn't have to pay him double. He paid him what he paid the other guys. He kept him on as the general manager for at least 10 years with a renewal to, for another five years if you wanted it. And they talked about ways of growing the business and et cetera, et cetera, right? So you go from something that's not solvable to something that is when you understand people's interests. Too often, we don't ask, what's your concern? What are you really worried about? And one way to make your way through the criticism is to think about it as somebody being afraid of something. Because we are afraid of things. Often, that's what drives us. When you fall down the stairs, what's the first thing you do? No. What's that? You look around to see who saw you. Absolutely. Your leg could be this way, but you go, uh, okay, did anybody see how much of an idiot I just looked like? And the answer is, right? So you're worried about your reputation, right? And that happens a lot, that people are worried. And so if you think, what are they worried about? What's the fear that they have? What are they worried about losing? A lot of times it, you can frame it that way and say, huh, you know, they're not just being difficult. They're worried about risk. They're worried about this. They're worried about that. And it, it helps you to move through because again, it's a mental game for you. You have to find a way of getting through the challenge that people are putting in front of you. So, you know, this is really the challenge in so many situations and where I think a lot of the misinterpretation also happens, which is that we don't get down here. We don't know why people are worried, fearful, whatever it might be, okay? Um, and again, you know, part of the challenge is, um, is thinking through your own interest. What's interesting to me, I'll, I'll work with lots of folks and I'll say, what do you want? And they'll fumble around. I'm like, look, if you can't tell them what you want, how, do they, how are they gonna satisfy it? You have to be clear. What are you trying to achieve? What's your goal? And communicate that. And, and think that through. And think through what's most important. Because in, in negotiation and, and dealing with conflict, we have a lot of interests. We have a lot of things that can be important. But you have to start to sort out and say, what, can I, what do I have to have? And what is um, something that I can let go of if I really need to? But similarly, um, just some questions. You know, I, <laughs> there are times when I think that we sort of outsmart ourselves when it comes to negotiation. Some simple, relatively direct questions, and these work better in the United States perhaps than other places where you don't really ask direct questions. Um, but why is this really important to you? What concerns do you have? Things like that, you know, and especially if you ask them in the right tone, um, in the right context. I've never had anybody say it's none of your business. 
because I'm trying to understand. Um, and, but make sure that you confirm, because again, if we go back to our ladders, right? And communication in my mind should have been called miscommunication because very rarely do you really understand what it is I'm trying to say, unless I take the time to say, wait, let me just make sure I understand what you're saying or whatever, some variation of that. Um, it just happens like that a lot. And part of the goal of getting to interest is to try to expand the pie. It's to try to find all the value that exists. There's lots of value in things that people have. Again, we were talking about jobs and what's satisfying for jobs, work environment, advancement, flexibility, benefits, like it goes on and on. There's millions of ways to put together deals like that, but you don't do it if you stay narrow on going back and forth about dollars. Doesn't, you don't get to the value that, that exists.